if you see a questionable tweet, oftentimes you can take it and search that tweet and you go, oh, look at this, there's fucking 50 people saying the exact same thing. And it must and, be true. And they all, you go to their thing and it's like an American flag and a number behind it and some weird name. And you're like, oh, this is horseshit. This is like a fake account. Well, I come from a, uh, an era where if you read it, then it must be true. Uh, you know, back but in it, the newspaper days. Yeah, but that was it. Yeah. You'd say something stupid to somebody. Well, where the fuck did you say? I read it. It well, was in the paper. That was what was dangerous, right? Because they could pr- just promote propaganda and put things in the paper. But that that's they what's knew happening now. True. That's what's happening that's now. the internet is our new paper. Well, also the newspapers are doing it too. Yeah, they're doing it too. They're bought. Yeah, there's a lot of weirdness going on. There was a thing the other day that was talking about um, the Nord Stream pipeline. It was in the New York Times, and it was saying that maybe we shouldn't know. Maybe we shouldn't know who did it, like because there's all the speculation. The United States blew up the Nord Stream pipeline. Uh, Sidney Hirsch, who was this uh, hugely hugely respected uh, journalist, he you know, wrote about this, and uh, that's his name, right? Seymour. Seymour Hirsch, right? I'm Philip Seymour. I'm fucking up. F- Seymour Hirsch. So Seymour Hirsch uh, writes this article on his Substack about how the United States was involved, you know, and then you have the New York Times saying maybe we shouldn't look into that. Like what? That's not your job. Your job is you're a journalist. You're supposed to give the people the pertinent information, and, and let us make our yes. own. Yes, and if your job is now propaganda for national interest, because it would be not in our best interest for the rest of the world to know that we did that. Now you're acting as an arm of the state. Now you're no longer acting at, unless you think this is like, and this is probably the justification that this is like could start World War Three. So they feel like they're in this sort of activist position, like a position where they're but not that's just not disseminating where, information. That's not where the activist needs to be. You know. You don't need it from our news sources. No. That's a fa- it's supposed to be a fact source. Yes. That's why I can't watch any television news, any network. Right. Because I don't want to know how you vote. I don't right. want to know what you think. It's also just they're give- trying to influence you. They're trying to bend your mind into whatever their narrative is. And it's not just the, inf- the information. It's in editorialized information almost always. I think it's more about because, you know, there used to be three stations – there yeah. used to be the six o'clock news, you know, maybe two newspapers in every city. They're vying for your eyeballs and ears. Yeah. And what gets you there is if you feel there's somebody supposedly like minded. Yeah. You know, that, that's another because the news is news. It's all going to be exactly the same. So what makes this one different than that one? Well, he these or are she, my people. These, that's exactly right. Exactly. Yeah. Have you ever seen that video where it shows local news people? I'll, I'll send it to Jamie. It's local news people all saying like the exact same thing. It's, it's really weird. No. It's one of those things where you go like, I kind of knew that this happened, but to see it happen so blatantly. Watch surreal. Here, I'll send this to you, Jamie. I have the actual video of it. I could just send it to you. Here's Jessica Headley. And I'm Ryan Wolf. Our, our greatest, greatest responsibility yeah, that's it. is to, to serve, serve our, our Treasure Valley communities. The El Paso Las Cruces communities. Eastern Iowa communities. Mid-Michigan communities. We are extremely proud of the quality, balanced journalism that CBS4 News <laughs> produces. But we are concerned about trouble and trying to get responsible one sided news stories plaguing our country. Plaguing our country. The sharing of biased and false news has become all too common on social media. More alarming, <laughs> some media outlets publish these same fake stories without checking facts first. The sharing of biased and false, false news, news has, has become, become all, all too common, common on, on social, social media. media. More alarming, some media this is fucking scary. Yeah, this is the scariest. Well, that's propaganda. I mean, this is this is they're they're trying to bend a narrative in a very specific way for everybody, and they're warning you about something that's a legitimate concern, the false information. But they're also spreading it all the time. So it's like what they're saying is nonsense. What they're saying is they, they don't want to relinquish control of what the news is and what information is to the Internet, to independent news sources and all these people that are investigating on very uncomfortable but probably likely facts. Right. And then we, are get, we get bombarded by these um, narratives. Yes. So every one of us, based on how, what we're intercepting. Our echo has- chamber. But we we have a, we, the, yeah. what is reality? Right. My reality is different than your reality. You know, we're not. We, we, I, that's why I need to talk to people who oppose. Sure, I need to talk to people who are different. Mm-hmm. I need to get out of my comfort space. But we don't. Right. I don't know what reality is. I really don't know. Do mm-hmm. you? Do you feel like you have a sense of it? <sighs> you have a, a very slippery grasp, like trying to catch a salmon with your hands. 
It's like it's slippery. What, whatever it is, it's changing all the time. And whatever the, the future is, is really uh, it's it's a gamble and a guess. And we don't know. And we're not even taking into consideration natural disasters, which have plagued humanity since the very beginning and knocked us back in the Stone Age several times. That could happen too. There's so much going on with us, and there's so much that it's it's hard to be in the moment, but it's also crucial. If you want to enjoy this weird thing, you got to be in the moment as possible. And to be in the moment, man, you have to do a lot of work. There's a lot of stuff you have to do. To my whole moment. existence is about being in the moment mm. because I can't let my mind wander. Yes. And worry about what has happened and or even scarier what might happen. See, in my you home and career. I are very different because I spent a lot of time alone and I spent a lot of time just thinking. A lot of time just by myself thinking, right. whether it's in flotation tank or whether it's in the sauna or whether it's I do, <laughs> I do stuff to, yeah. to put myself alone so I can think and to find out what are those dark thoughts? What are those deep thoughts? What's what the fuck is going on? I want to know how I think about things and why I think about things. So I spent a lot of time doing that. I can't handle that. I know. I understand. You know, there was it's, a movie very, line. I can't handle yeah, the truth. Yeah. I, I really can't. I have yeah. to really live in a fantasy world that I create for myself because I'm really afraid to stick my toe in that deep end of thought. Yeah, but the fact that you're able to express that is so valuable because there's it? so many. Yes, yes, yes. Because there's many people that feel the same way as you, and they're listening right now, and they're like, okay. I'm not alone because the spectrum of the way people interface with reality is so wide. There's so many people that have a very hard time with everything. And there's so many people that just seem to skate by without a worry in the world. And they're all existing at the same time period. And the, the ones who skate by without a worry, they might be wrong. And the people that are anxious all the time, they might be correct or not. You know, I, mean, I don't know. It's like the whole thing is like, how do you interface with all the people around you? And what can you do to make the world a better place? I think all you can do is uh, control yourself. Yeah, Try to control, control yourself. yourself. That's it. And you if everybody does that, then the world becomes a better place. You have no control over anything else. Not very, even your own little. children, right. not your very own little. friends, not even your own business. Really.